Introducing Elias El Macho Araujo as the undefeated Omar El Relampago Juarez. And uh, early on, you see the punches landed 10 to 4 so far in round number one. So it was a slow go opening things up. Juarez was really just assessing Lennox, I guess, in that first round. It's a good right hand lands from Araujo. Action so far here in round two. Both men throwing, and Araujo able to throw some overhand rights and try to. There's a right hand that lands. Good dig to the body by Juarez. And I think Juarez is dealing with it really well, like a, like a, a more of a veteran than a rookie. Yeah, Araujo is really arm punching. He's not digging as much, but he's throwing uh, punches from different angles. Juarez, <laughs> Juarez right now is picking. You yeah. know, he's picking his shots. He's, he's, <laughs> he's being accurate with his shots, and uh, that's what he's supposed to do. He's not taking see, any shots. And you're right. And see, uh, six months ago, a year ago, he wouldn't be fighting like this against a guy like this. He would be moving all over the ring. Right now, he's he's writing things out. He's blocking. He's bumping them around. He's staying calm. And he's looking for his good shots like that, which really hurt so far. And if you look at Warriors, Warriors can take those punches because there's nothing behind them. They're arm punches. There's that little roll Juarez right with up a like hard combination. That had, to be, had to be a five or six punch combination there from Juarez to answer. Araujo, though, more than game enough to fight at close distance. Partially, Araujo's right on the inside, and then when how he started out this round. He started at arm's length, just like that. He started landing combinations, uppercuts, right hands, hooks. And then every so often, he'll sit on the inside. Now he took an uppercut there. But, you know, that's part of the game to get what you want. But I still think it may be short-lived. And Oh, it's a nice right hand. But I, I think I think, <laughs> War, I think Juarez is still doing really well, you know. And I don't just Yeah, I, I just wonder if he'd be... You know, I know what you mean. I just think he'd be better served showing another dimension, and he hasn't done out here in LA with me and um, both guys are doing the same thing they're, they're looking to win this fight we're looking to win it they're looking to win it and wow spectacular counter punching there from Omar Juarez sharp sharp shooting from Juarez there to answer now here in round seven Rajo right now is throwing a lot of punches. The pressure that he's giving Juarez is a lot. But Juarez is, you know, he's keeping his defenses intact. He's rolling. He's coming back with some good punches. Uh, Araujo is, is leaving his head in the middle of his... of, of uh, He's leaving the head in the middle, and he, he better worry about uh, Juarez's uppercuts because Juarez only has to do is take a step back and throw an uppercut. Yeah, Juarez is really te teeing off on him right now. And, of course, you know, look, he's using that good shoulder roll. He's twisting and contorting his body and coming back with good. Boy, was re very crafty on the inside himself, though. Oh, yeah, he's always been crafty yeah. on the inside. I see Juarez going to work here now again. Multiple punches back. Araujo, though, firing back. Trying to get his shots. Again, as we mentioned, we had Marcus Villegas giving the score. You could have a competitive fight and have it that this fight will be 10 rounds. You could have a 10 zip and still say it was competitive uh, and yet still have one guy winning every single round. That's how you judge it. And this could be one of those fights. Given that he's gotten this work, I would just think to show a different dimension would help him. Well, a different that's a bit hard uh, shot. Yeah, I was, wasn't it? yeah, that one affected him uh, because that's the first time yeah. we've seen Rojo actually hold on. Exactly. And you see, Warriors joins dig into the Ooh. body. Good shot, and you can see Rojo being affected by that punch. And here comes another side. Here's another sequence of punches, left, right. Left hook right there, short punch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's coming off a knockout win. Perhaps that's what he was doing. Yeah. Digging hard to the body and again, quadruple hooks. I think it was five, but yeah, close. Quintuple hooks. <laughs> <laughs> very good, nice, very nice. And the final seconds, and this, right, look at that. Again, Juarez finishing in style. Relief. And very good work from both men. Araujo, again, he only started fighting at the age of 25. He's 21 and 2, comes in as the other side of the A side. That A side is Omar Juarez. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards with a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Zachary Young scores about 98.
to 92. Alejandro Rochin and Rudy Barragan both agree, scoring the bat about 99 to 91. All three in favor of the winner. And still undefeated, Omar El Relampago Juarez. And that decision seems to make a lot of sense. Fellas, your thoughts? One or two rounds maximum for Araujo, but Juarez uh, wins that copy box. Punches landed 226 to 142. And power punches will be interesting to see as well. Araujo actually throwing more punches. He was relentless. Power punches a little closer, but still a wide gap, 199 to 126. Lennox, you first. Your thoughts on, on what you just saw there with young Omar Juarez. Omar Juarez uh, did good. He boxed well. This is the type of fight he needs in his uh, uh, repertoire of uh, fights and um, a different look for him, and he worked with it. Don't miss the return of former champion Andy Ruiz as he takes on veteran Chris Ariola. Plus, a stacked card of Mexican firepower. Oh, my goodness! Buy now on foxsports.com slash PPP. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.